The Walker Art Center is celebrating an artist's return to the Twin Cities. You can see my friend Barrett Leone is joining me now to talk about Keith Herring. Yeah, so I went to the museum and I found out how Keith is making a difference through his work decades after his death. You might recognize the bold colors, or maybe it's the distinct drawings. So this exhibition is really the, the story of a young artist. It's an artist who had an incredible trajectory. That young artist is Keith Herring. Well, I think what's really amazing about Herring is that he had the ability to embed so many things in his art. From sculptures to paintings to crawling babies, Herring's brief but intense career spanned across the 1980s. Decades after his peak, Herring's work is now on display at the Walker Art Center in Minneapolis. He was always about making sure people had access to his art. And that, that ability to connect um, is very rare. You know, he was, he was very exuberant as a person and as an artist, and um, it shows in the exhibition. But it's not the first time Herring's exuberance was felt here. Keith Herring was really fearless. He did a residency at the museum in 1984. Archive footage, displayed present day, depicts his artistic process. And what I love about this um, footage is that it shows how incredibly confident he was. A staunch supporter for the LGBTQ plus community during the HIV AIDS crisis. Herring's passion for art and activism intertwined. He himself was diagnosed with HIV AIDS in 1987. His passion and his um, real urgency around getting a message across just intensified during that period. Sometimes that message came as a literal public service announcement seen in bus stops or subways. Other times, more subtle. He gained fame very quickly and as we see from the works in the exhibition, he really made an impact on culture at large. An impact on culture and so much more. He was an artist who was really about joy and exuberance and um, a message about art being for all, but also an artist who had very passionate activism and was very much about social and political issues. So he really did both. His impact lives on. So Herring actually died from AIDS-related complications in 1990. He was just 31 years old. The Keith Herring Art is for Everyone, Everybody exhibit will be at the Walker through Labor Day. And the Walker tells mm -hmm. us that they're thrilled to showcase this exhibit, especially during Pride Month. And they're going to have a presence at the Pride Festival in Loring Park. Yes, well, in such a short life, he made such a big impact. Such a difference, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that, Barrett. Mm -hmm.